YouTube, what's up, Paul Hamels fan? How are you guys doing? Um, this will be my post nationals video. Um, met up with a lot of awesome YouTubers over the weekend. I went on Friday and Sunday. Um, Friday was insane. It was pretty fun. Um, Sunday was a little more hectic and or not hectic, but like died down a lot. There wasn't that many people there. Um, overall, I thought nationals was pretty fun. I mean, most of the vendors I talked to seemed like they were doing pretty good. I mean, Sunday they weren't doing that great, but uh, most of them were packing up super early. Um, so, yeah, I'll get into this. One package that I got in, um, it is the blue funk to my rainbow. So now I have the entire funk rainbow from Undisputed this year. So it's at 25. So super excited about that. Um, what else? Uh, met up with a lot of people on Friday. Um, Hudson Fan 15 was the first one I hooked up with. Kind of walked around with him kind of throughout the day. Um, Tom was awesome. He knows everyone. So uh, just enjoyed being with him. Not first time ever meeting the dude. Um, he's an awesome guy. Got to meet my YouTube idol, Tyson NZ, um, for saying, big motherfucker. Like, mm, big. Nice guy. Uh, which I'm not no slouch myself. Um, so yeah, uh, first table when I walked in, I found this bad boy. A one of one Hamels. I did not pay what that was. The dude, I think, I asked him what's the best he could do on it. He told me 25, so I took it. I passed on that card a few times. Um, after that, um, well, when I first met up with... Well, I'll do the pickups first. Um, so I found that. That was one of my pickups for the day. I only got three cards that day. I got that. I got. I found this randomly in some dude's case. He gave it to me for like 30 bucks. I thought it was awesome. I always wanted to get all three of these. There's a set of three. Um, and that is a Cole, or sorry, a Hulk Hogan autograph PSA DNA calling card. Uh, fun thing is, it expired 12-31-96, so I'm a few days past it, or decades, actually, too. Um, that's cool. There's three in the set, um, Hulk, which is kind of the cheapest, Sting, and then the Macho Man, which is the most expensive. Uh, supposedly, I don't know if they were sent out or someone found them eventually later on and got most of them slabbed, but... They are kind of common, but I always thought it was neat, and I always wanted to get one. And then this was like, I guess, my big purchase for the day. Again, I was going mostly to meet people. Um, I met uh, Wenzel888888. Um, super cool guy. Really nice to talk to. Um, walked around with him like twice. Uh, we busted a box together, got shanked hard up the ass. Like real bad. Like I almost don't want to show it to you. Uh, but the best card was this Eric Reed, and my auto was a guy named Matt Scott, who, uh, this is out of 25, yeah, so, those were the best cards, but, uh, so Wenzel was super cool, RBI was super cool, um, who else, uh, you'll show your hits, um, was awesome, Scotty, the uh, Stotty boy, awesome dude, talked to him a lot, um, well, more on Sunday, but, uh, even though I didn't talk to him a whole lot, Mickey the dude was there, he had his little bottle box, um, really wanted to play bottle, kind of actually heartbroken, I didn't get to play bottle, should have brought it the second day, but anyway, um, so yeah, I met them, RBI Crew 7, uh, who else? Um, I'm trying to think of anyone else I met. Uh, I did meet other people. I'm just trying to think who they were and what they did. I don't know. I'm drawing a blank right now. Um, but this was my big card pickup for the week end. Um, it's number 22 of 95. This is actually a pretty big card, uh, or at least kind of hard and rare to find. Um, set up BBM. It's probably the hottest. I guess, non-WWE wrestler out there right now. I mean, Jay Lethal, you could probably make an argument about, but uh, this is the guy that's probably the biggest. Um, it's the cleaner, Kenny Omega. 
Um, I got this at a ridiculous price for what I thought. The dude was super cool. Actually, Tom ended up knowing the guy because I took him to there and worked out a deal with him. He worked out a trade, so... Um, but yeah, so I was super excited to get Kenny Omega. If you're into wrestling, YouTube Kenny Omega. There's all types of cool clips and all that of him. Super awesome. Very hard to find card. Um, he also had a Finn Balor BBM, which he quoted me a ridiculous price on. But then when he checked the Omega to see how much he wanted for that, he looked at the Finn and realized he like undercut himself by like two-thirds. But I didn't jump on it, and I didn't overly want to, honestly, at that point, so. Um, then Tom hooked me up with a package when I first walked in. I had just actually opened this to make this video, and then the video was too long, Tom, so I have seen what's in here. But you are the man, and you didn't have to do this. Um, he gave me this Crusade, Steve Carlton, out of 50. Um, this Cliff Lee, which is the bane of my existence. I'm not going to lie, can't stand Cliff Lee. Um, he hates women and children. Yeah. Honestly, I, I think he does. Um, this was really cool. Uh, Jorge Afaro, Bowman Sterling Auto. That'll be neat. I have to hold on to that bad boy. And then uh, this was pretty sweet. This is a uh, 2015 Bowman Chrome yellow printing plate. Which, again, was way too much, Tom, because honestly, I just wanted to hang out with you. You didn't have to give me anything. So, felt super bad, so I eventually tried looking around all the fucking tables to find something for you. And either most of the stuff I knew you had, or I couldn't find what I was looking for. Um, at the very end of the day, Wenzel actually... I said it to Wenzel, and he actually knew of something, so I managed to run back to the table real quick, grab it and then give it to you on my way out. So, um, but again, I was super happy to see you. It was awesome seeing you, Tom. Always look forward to talking to you. Um, and then I guess the other, only other recap for the day is, I only saw one autograph signer. Most of them were super expensive and they had like weird side rules, like Randy Johnson would only sign a jersey if it had five other signatures on it, which I thought was stupid. But uh, the only one guy I wanted to get something signed by and meet is, uh, you will not understand it if you look at the signature. But I did get an autographed glove of Anderson Silva. So I had a little TriStar put their thing on it. So that is a super sexy looking glove. Um, so yeah, met him. He was super nice, awesome, very jovial, willing to take pictures. I got a picture with him even though I didn't pay for the picture. Yeah, picture package. Um, so yeah, uh, that's pretty cool. I got a little case for it and all that. Um, sorry, James. Um, maybe down the road we can work out something. Um, so yeah, uh, that was basically my recap for Friday. Then I missed my train and like had to sit at the train station for like two hours. I flew. Um, but yeah, so um, I went back on Sunday. And, uh, I was mostly just going to meet Westergriff. Um, I figured I couldn't find him because I don't honestly know what the fuck he looked like up until I met him later on. Um, so yeah, I was asking everyone I knew, like Wenzel, all of them, like, yo, show your hits, Dottie Boy. It's like, do you know what this dude looks like? And none of them did. So anyway, um, so since... No one knew what you looked like, and I didn't know what you looked like, so basically I was waiting on someone to come up to me. Um, I figured I would look around. Honestly, I know there wasn't much Hamill stuff, so I figured, eh, well, I'll look around. I knew there's some Mickey Morniac stuff, um, and I actually found one thing from a dude who gave me what I thought was a ridiculous price on it, and I had to turn, and I had to pick it up. Um, I only walked in with, like, 30 bucks, because after paying to get in and, like, the train... Basically, that's all the money I had left for the weekend. So, I walked in with like 30 bucks. I managed to get this for like 20, 25, somewhere around there. I think it was like 20. Um, it was the only one I saw at the show, at least. Um, it is the Perfect Game Mickey Morniac Auto. Um, but the good part is, it is a 9510 Mickey Morniac Auto. Um, there is a few autos of him out there already all with leaf but 
thought it was a super cool card. Um, so yeah, super stoked to get that at a ridiculous price from what I thought for the number one overall pick. And then I busted a few packs of the Panini like giveaway thing. And I guess Miguel Santo was my best uh, hit of all of them. Um, kind of cool card. Um, it was numbered to 99. So it's pretty cool. Um, other than that, I think basically all the rest of the stuff is pretty bad, actually. I didn't really get any hits in my Paninis. Um, you know, line out Messi, or all this Chapman. And then what was the other thing? Uh, uh, Kyle Schwarber, number to 499, and a Shaquille O'Neal. So yeah, I didn't really get that much in that one. But mostly I just went back to see people. Again, I got to talk to Yosho Your Hits, Scotty Boy, all them. Uh, I talked to RBI, Ryan, for a few minutes. So that was more or less why I went back. Um, most of the dealers were packing up when I walked in at like 11 anyway, so... By like one, they half of them were gone, it seemed like. Um, so yeah, super fun time. Um, again, I didn't really get anything monstrous, but I got a very nice package, and I got to meet a lot of people that I wanted to. I mean, some of you guys I've basically talked to you for years now and never got to meet you in person, so it was awesome. Um, so yeah, hopefully everyone's doing all right, and I will talk to you guys later. I'm probably going to be broke for a while. Yeah. Alright, peace.